I'd like to discuss pointers in structures or uh, pointing actually to a structure. Interesting lecture. Um, and I'm also going to show you a couple of other things, how to pass a structure as a pointer and how to return it as a structure too, which is uh, very interesting. Let's start off with our basic structure. We're going to use our dog canine structure up here as we've used in the other two videos. And I'm going to declare uh, two two structures. Now, I say canine structure, and I say asterisk, that means it's a pointer. Now the pointer, as if you're uh, familiar with pointers, points to the address of where a structure can be located. But at this particular point, we don't have that. So we'll say my dog, uh, semicolon, and then we'll do another one, and we'll say your dog. Now at this particular point, we, the only thing we've got allocated is a word that will hold an address of where a structure can be located, but at this particular point, that storage has not been allocated. To do that, we have to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to say my dog okay, is equal to new canine structure. Now, now the storage has been allocated. What the new does is it goes out to the operating system, gets enough space to store that record, gives that address to my dog. And we'll do the same thing with your dog is equal to new canine structure. All right, very good. Now to um, put some data in there. Let's go ahead and put some data. I'm actually going to go over to uh, some code I've actually got written already so I don't have to type it in to fill it in and kind of show it to you. So let me pause it and I'll be right back. Don't, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. So here we have the code. Now I want you to notice the difference between accessing the structure when it's regularly just defined as just a regular uh, uh, object versus as a pointer. You'll notice that we don't use the period. We use this operator. It's a dash or greater than symbol. This the reference operator right here, the dash and the greater than symbol, says my dog is an address and go to that address and find the uh, dog name and access it. So what this does is it goes to my dog, the address of it, and assigns Piper to dog name, breed to West Highland White Terrier, age 17, weight 21 on, on your dog, it's Olive Shih Tzu 11 and 11. All right, so that's how you actually access uh, pointers uh, in uh, structures. Now then, let's go on and let's write a couple of routines. The first one I want to write is uh, a print. And I'll actually uh, put the prototype up here, and then I'll, I'll cut and paste it and show you how to do it. So we want to print. We want to say uh, print canine. And what I want to do is I want to pass a canine structure to it. i got to tell it it's a pointer, and I'll just give it a name, R. All right, well, let's go down and write that. Um, I've actually got it written here already. So I'm going to just uh, copy that and paste it over here and explain it to you. And again, all I'm doing is using the resolution operator to reference the individual items within the uh, structure itself. It is asterisk and R means it's by a reference. So that prints it. So let me call those. I'll, uh, I'll call them right here and I'll just show you that it does work. I'll just say print canine and I'll say uh, uh, my dog and then I'll say uh, print canine and your dog. Let's build that. Okay, good. And let's run it. And we'll see Piper and Olive have been printed out properly. Okay. Let's uh, do two more routines I want to show you, which are very, very handy too. Uh, I'm going to use one, uh, which is called uh, uh, Swap the Canines. Okay. <laughs> and then this may, may seem odd, but what I want to do is I want to exchange the data in two different uh, structures. Okay, so I'm going to say swap uh, canine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the data of two of them. We'll say, uh, we'll say here one is uh, <coughs> record one, asterisk 
record one, excuse me, and then canine structure asterisk record two. Okay, and I want to show you a little bit of problem here. This is this is kind of interesting. I'm going to call it uh, before I print them out here. So I'm going to say uh, uh, swap canine and uh, my dog and your dog. I'm going to swap the two. Now remember that uh, Piper was first. Okay. And now we're going to go down here. We're going to write it one way. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a problem with that. So let me write it here and I'll come back and explain it. Alright, so I've written the code here. My swap routine does this. I pass in the two records, R1, R2. And the idea here is that I'm going to create a temporary location. Notice I put the word static in there. When I put the word static in there, what that does is it um, uh, to set aside the storage in the global area so it doesn't recreate it uh, every time we call the routine. It's the same same area. I allocate a uh, record to it and then I give the record 1 its address. I replace record 1 with record 2 and then record 2 I give the original. And we'll see what happens here. We'll go ahead and build this. Build this. Looks good. And then we'll run it. Okay. Okay, now remember I said up here that Piper was first. Okay, Piper was first and Olive was second. That's the order that we're printing them out. Notice I did the swap routine here. But what happened is it didn't exchange them. Now the question is why didn't it exchange them? The reason it doesn't work is because in reality, when we're doing the swap here, we're only swapping the location of two local pointers. The originals are unaffected. So it really doesn't work like that. There is a way to use double pointers to do this, but a better way to do it in this particular case is just to go ahead and uh, do the long way and uh, swap each individual item. Let me put that code in there and let me show you how it is. Let me pause it a minute and I'll go back and get the code. So here it is. We've just actually gone through and, and uh, made exchanges of the entire data. As I said before, this actually works fairly well. Now let's go ahead and build this build this project and we're going to run it and we're going to show that uh, on the they are our exchange whoop oh, I, I missed the, uh, uh, the the breeds here let me put the uh, R2 got them wrong there let me correct that That's what happens when you type too fast alright let's build that and then run it again. All right, now that looks good. Okay, so they're exchanged. All right, now let me show you one more thing. And uh, what I'm going to show you here is how to pass in a structure and return it as a type of the function itself. Okay, so here I'm going to say struct, um, excuse me, canine struct, canine struct, asterisk as a pointer. Okay, and we're here we're going to say, add one to year and we're going to pass in a canine struct canine struct and we'll say R. Now the idea here is I'm going to add one to an age and I'll do that before I I print them out right here. <coughs> um, main routine I'm going to add one to uh, uh, let's say the uh, my dog so let's go down here and write the routine. And we're going to say uh, canine struct asterisk add add one to year, and we're going to pass in a canine struct r. And all we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to take r, and we're going to say uh, age plus plus, and we're going to say return r. Now that's going to return the whole record back to it uh, and we're going to assign that. So right here in our uh, routine, okay, um, we're going to say, let's see, right, right here, um, my dog uh, is equal to add one to year, my dog. So whatever my dog is, it should add one year to it and put it back into uh, that year. Let's build that. That looks good. And we're going to run it. And we'll see that uh, 
the West Highland White Terry or the uh, Shih Tzu had actually added uh, one year to it. All right, very good. Well, I uh, hope this helped you out. The structures of pointers, and this leads into our next one, which are dynamic structures, and we'll do that lecture next.